this week we're looking at all of my Jurassic Park Funko Pop collections and we're doing an unboxing. So these Funko Pops were made for the 25th anniversary of Jurassic Park. I think that was out last year, if I can remember. I think so. Um, now I've been a massive fan of Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park was probably my first film I ever saw in a theatre, so as a little kid. So this was massive, uh, massive film for me. Um, and when I saw they're doing Funko Pops, it's like, I have to, I have to get it. <laughs> so first up, we're going to start with uh, John Hammond. So on the side, we've got his text name. Now these are all the ones that we've got that you can get. Um, I haven't got like Dr. Alan Grant or, or Ian Malcolm yet. I do want to pick them up at some stage, but um, I thought I really wanted to just get John Hammond and his dinosaurs. And there he is. So let's do the unboxing. So here he is. Here is John Hammond. So he's in his iconic white outfit as well as the hat. Um, he's got his uh, staff that he has from the movies. Um, it's about part of him. But yeah, a nice, nice looking pop. Um, he has, of course, the, one of the most famous lines in any movie. Welcome to Jurassic Park. And yeah, overall, uh, a really nice uh, looking pop. So this one is um, featured in the in the film by killing the sort of the villain of Jurassic Park, the Dennis Nedry guy. It's a nice. He's got a nice little scene with this uh, little dinosaur. So there at the back. So let's open the first Funko Pop dinosaur. So first up, they, the dinosaur comes with a nice massive stand for the balancing. And here he is, the first Funko dinosaur. So first up, I really like the design of this. It doesn't even look like a actual proper Funko Pop. Um, some really nice pattern designs. And yeah, really, really like it. Um, nice, um, like there's nice features of the actual teeth sticking out. And of course the pattern as well. There's his little feet. Yeah, nice little dinosaur Funko Pop. So this species of dinosaurs was heavily featured in the Jurassic Park films as well as the uh, Jurassic World films as well. So that's the packaging. Uh, then we have a Velociraptor on the side. And again, the same artwork details. So let's open uh, this cool guy up. So again, we have another stand for him, because these dinosaurs do not stand well on their own. <laughs> and there he is, the Velociraptor. Um, not a bad design, some nice sort of uh, uh, pattern design on his uh, forehead. Um, it's got the piercing yellow eyes. Now I want to sort of take a look at his claws, because his claws are sort of the massive part of the Jurassic Park series. So there they are. So they're not too bad. Um, yeah, I like, I like it. Um, 
it definitely looks a lot from the original Jurassic Park because the the newer uh, dinosaurs in, in Jurassic World, uh, their species looks a little bit different um, to the original one from the movie. But yeah, I like it overall. Very nice looking plot. And now we come to our final dinosaur on this epic journey, and that is the Trinosaurus Rex. T-Rex for short. Um, this guy was a major badass in all three of the original Jurassic Park trilogy and of course um, him now in the newer Jurassic World films as well so T-Rex was definitely my favorite dinosaur and every scene that he was in in Jurassic Park I just absolutely loved so here he is now when this pop came out there were a few complaints that T-Rex is one of the, the biggest and one of the major, major players in Jurassic Park. You, you would think he'd be almost a full-size scale pop, but um, they made it actually came out much after when this one was released, because it is quite small. Um, he should be full-size, a full-size one pop, pop so. But I have to get, I have to get T-Rex. So let's open him up. And there he is, T-Rex. Um, it's a little bit uh, bigger to the other uh, smaller dinosaurs that I have. Uh, but yeah, this would have definitely worked better as a full size, um, I think, sort of the, sort of the mega um, Funko Pops they have. But I would not have the space for that to put in my room, so I'm glad I've got this this version. Uh, now, definitely, they've really focused eye oil on the teeth because the teeth are sort of the major killing point to this um, massive machine. But yeah, really, really good. Um, Funko Pop, nice textures on his forehead as well, and yeah, just not even even the teeth feel pretty um pretty wicked. So there he is, there is T Rex. Well, thanks for joining me on this Funko Pop Jurassic Park collection video. It's been great to actually remember some of the old films and and why I love them so much. So I will catch you guys in the next video.